Hey gamers, it's Spinnermute here from Grind This Game, back with Oxygen Not Included, the uh, automation upgrade. Now there's an update coming in uh, two weeks. I'm not sure what's going to be in it yet, but uh, it's going to be a smaller update from what I've heard, but I don't know the details of what's going to be in it. So that should be exciting. And uh, for this episode I have some, some t tasks in mind. I'm thinking of dismantling my fertilizer setup here. Because I've experienced in the past, if I've deleted all this, uh, things get a little bit faster. And I think we'll have enough natural gas from the two geysers that we won't need this fertilizer anymore. And the other thing I'm thinking of doing is actually getting rid of our natural gas power here. Either all of it or some of it. And just switching over to using manual power by the dupes. Because we have 30 dupes now, a lot of them are idle, 23 are idle. Often they're sitting around doing nothing, so I figure I might as well get them generating power instead. So I'm thinking of putting power generation somewhere around here, maybe, and tying it back into our main circuit. I'm not sure if power flows backwards, like if we, let's say we put two kilowatts of generation on this one wire, which can only apparently handle 1K. I'm not sure if it would overload or not, and whether it would seep back into this kind of network here. So I'm not quite sure. Lots to do though, lots of digging to do to in order to do this. I'll probably just start up here, even though these two are airlocked areas. Take this out. Maybe dig in here. I'll probably continue to do my levels too high, except for the odd uh, three high, just so we can fit some weasel warts in here and there. Let's make the level this level too high, actually. We're gonna have to let this puffed out eventually, because he's kind of in the way. Oh, we got new dupes. So I'm gonna try to get to 40 dupes in this episode. It might mean some kind of off-camera work because it's gonna take a while to get that many dupes, but let's just see who we got here. Irritable bow. That doesn't bother me too much. I don't want a loud sleeper. Hmm. Yeah, this will be fine. Nisbet. How many Nisbets do we have now? Probably quite a few. I want to see if we can generate power along here without driving the dupes completely mad because the decor is going to be really bad in here. I'm going to try four manual generators here. It's going to be a bit cold in here for them. And then disable, disable a few of these. Uh, disable two of those. And we'll draw down these batteries a, a bit and see how things work. What's decor like here? Minus 300. Hmm. Now, after they disable these, batteries should start to run down. Power consumed around 2, power produced 2.4. Let's disable another one. There we go. Now I'm going to deconstruct a bunch of these fertilizers, synthesizers. Don't think we'll need them all. We'll keep three, I guess, for now. Now the only issue of getting rid of all the fertilizer synthesizers is that we're going to have a lot of polluted water left over. But if we don't have much natural gas, then we won't have much polluted water. We'll see how that goes. No one's running yet. Let's just see how these generators, or this wire, these batteries are doing. Oh yeah, they're drawing down. So that'll take a while. Now if this does work, this could be our little power room. I had considered allowing this to overflow down, all the way down, 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 down into here. Some of it has already. And just basically make a total dumping ground for polluted water. I'm considering it. 
We're not, it's not full yet though. 19 idle. <laughs> oh no, we're leaking. We are leaking. <laughs> Look at them all, just standing around. Not sure what to do with this puffed. Maybe I'll just open this up and hope he goes out this way. We don't really need him. Our little loud sleeper here. But the spacing's good enough. It's not disturbing anything. Do we have germs in the base? Come on. Go a little bit. I think it's going to be okay though. I'll come back in a sec once this is a little bit more built out and cleaned up. Okay, so I'm back a little bit early here. They haven't built much, but the batteries did fall below 50%, so they're they're trying to charge it all up now. Now let's check out their stress. It's actually going down. Even though they're in this terrible area. Oh, his stress is going up. I'm going to make a little power room in here. I think. Or I could put it right in the base. No, I want it to be on this heavy watt wire. So what I'll do is use Abyssalite. Come along here. And kind of join up there. Take this out. Let's go four high so we can put paintings in there. And then we'll put the power in there. Bring the heavy watt wire in. Actually, I want to see if a regular wire, wire will work. I don't think it will. No, it won't work. It'll it'll fry. But I do want to test it anyway. So there we go. <laughs> Our power room. And I'm going to try regular wire. But I want to hook up just one regular wire and see if it fries by being hooked up to this major circuit. I think it will be, but... We'll find out soon enough. I'll come back after they built this. So yeah, we got circuit overloaded. That wasn't the best idea. Okay, so we can't do that. So let's use this wire instead. Iron. Come around the side. And join. Oh, we probably don't have enough iron for all this. Oh, maybe we do. Connect there. They get stuck in the weirdest places. That should be good enough for him to get down. Yeah. Oh, got more dupes. Let's see who we have. Strength six. That looks good. Welcome, Bubbles. Oh, okay, that's okay. Oh yeah, we ran out of iron. What else do we have? Copper, let's use that. That looks much better. Need to clean up this air a little bit. Put in some decor. And I want to seal this up. They can go around if they need to get in here. I don't want that uh, cooling down too much. Let's keep it nice and warm. Oh, we can't build over that wire. Oh, because we need a joint plate. Which means that temperature is going to kind of flow through here. Not exactly what I wanted. I think it'll be okay. We'll see. This is the soul cycle room where they all get their daily fitness. Put in some more storage. We don't mess around here, do we? 
Oh, this puffed has to go. Mr. Puffed, you're just, uh, we don't like you. You'll have to die. Actually, maybe we can attract him somewhere else. Let's try that, that thing. Uh, aerial creature lure. Let's see if we can get him over here. Cycle 400! Cue rock music. Look at these lazy ones, sleeping through the day. Let's open all these doors. Need some better airflow here. Okay, let's disable the rest of this natural gas. Then we'll truly see how many more power wheels we need. Oh, look at them all, they're running. Oh, there's nowhere f there's nowhere for the CO2 to go. <laughs> uh, that's not good. Now we could just pump oxygen directly in there. That would make sense. So come up here, like that, with a bridge. And that should kind of keep this oxygenated so they can do their workouts, their daily workout. Oh, we got germs. Too many germs. Let's increase our battery buffer. Because they're not going to be running during the night, so... Oh, look at all that CO2. Oh man, that's no good. <laughs> okay, let's try... A few airflow. Hopefully, it doesn't get too cold in here. Got new dupes. 33. Lots of non diggers. Oh, this is actually good. Diver's lungs. Perfect. Even though we've got some immunity issues. Look at them all! So many of them. Now maybe this cooling down here will circumvent the heat that's building up from all these manual generators. And some airflow on top is probably a good idea too. Oh, look at all the germs in here. Wow. Let's disinfect this area. There they go. Kill those germs. That's weird. The sound cut out for a second there. So we've got some more dupes here. Uh, diver's lungs. Even though their strength is low, probably the best bet. Now I'm thinking of deconstructing all this, because I don't think I need it anymore. We've switched completely to manual power. Let them work through that. And this is safe to go too. These lights I built here just for, um, to show if these batteries go too low or not. Or off, I should say. There goes all that. <laughs> Great deconstruction. Oh yeah, I put in another oxygen line here. Just to keep this room full of oxygen. Eventually all the CO2 should end up here and down here. Oh yeah. 
So maybe we'll scrub this at the bottom of the room here. I just noticed uh, one major problem. We're sending this, we used to send our CO2 from this really cold area up here from our natural gas power into our grow rooms. But we're also, now we're sending this, this really hot CO2 into our grow rooms, which is not good. Not good at all. So I, I almost want to send that down to the Slicksters and we'll find a different source of CO2 for our grow rooms. Now we could take the CO2 out of here. That's collecting from up here and pump that into our grow rooms. That would work pretty well. In fact, we could just use a mini pipe pump. We don't need a We don't really need a strong one here. So let's stick that there. I guess a filter as well. Stick that there. Gas filter. So we filled this with slime. Oh, and I think it's attracting this puffed. Yeah, it seems to be working. Now I want them to trap this puffed in here. Oh no, he's out. <laughs> Come back. Lock him in there quickly. There we go. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Look at all this hydrogen up here. Oh, and this water accumulating here. Hmm. And we have another dupe. So 35. Let's go with uh, Lindsay here. And how did our other vent go here? Is this hooked up? We need to select carbon dioxide. There we go. Maybe. Should come through. Oh, it's not connected. Okay. That should do it. There we go. Here it comes. It's a little bit warm. 20 degrees. Mealwood will grow in 10 to 30. Oh, that's fine. That's actually perfect. And our total calories are going up. We're at like 240,000 now, so food should be fine for a while. No one is running. Guess the batteries are full. Let's see. Oh yeah. Well, there's hardly anything using power anymore. So I did a little project off camera. I kind of deconstructed some of the stuff that was in here. There was a pump here. And there was oil being pumped into this kind of container to cool down, but I, I didn't need that anymore, so I took it out. So now the CO2 should just fall all the way down. Feed, the, feed these slicksters and we'll pump the uh, pump the oil out of there up to the base but we're not we're not uh, doing any petroleum at the moment I guess we should oh max gas pressure okay understandable okay so it, that's fine we don't really need plastic right now and I might have actually turned these off anyway no nope, one of them is still going Okay, so our CO2 pump here is working pretty well, I think. It's not pumping much, but it's slowly clearing out the CO2. 
There's nothing in here anymore. It's like really low pressure. And we got a new dupe. So number 36. Let's go with Ren. Lots of polluted oxygen up here. Oh yeah, there's that 48 kilograms, 50 kilograms in here. Oh man. <laughs> How many germs are in here? Oh, there's no germs in here. Why is that? Oh, it's frozen. Oh, they can breathe this without any risk. Let's put in an airlock. An airflow tile. And we'll start filtering this. Deodorizer. See how that works. This might be a big mistake. Let's put some deodorizers out here to clean all this up. So I started another project here. Uh, oxygen was getting thin, so I repurposed this natural gas generator room to be a new oxygen production room since it's really nice and cold in here. Um, and we've got cooling from this area here. We could once. We remove this abyss like tile, it could really get cold in here. Right now it's kind of zero degrees, which is kind of perfect. So this pipe used to be full of natural gas. So I kind of had to run things in reverse and clear out the pipe and I dumped it all in this room here with a high pressure vent. And then I repurposed this uh, pipe for oxygen. And I kind of cut off the supply of the natural gas geyser up here because we probably don't need it. Actually, we don't need it for sure because <laughs> uh, we're not using natural gas anymore. And I can probably, it's probably safe to clear out this pump. But maybe I'll evacuate this room of natural gas. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here. But definitely this pipe here doesn't need to be sending natural gas up anymore. So I will probably disconnect that right there. Oh, these guys are actually running on the wheels over here. And we have a new dupe here. So let's take them on. Um, Flagellant Narcoleptic. Noodle arms. Don't really like any of these. But I think Stinky's probably the least worst. So much lag now. <laughs> Only two more dupes to go. And then we'll reach the goal of 40 dupes. And that's probably where I'll end the episode. So I'm actually going to go, I'll come back once we get our next dupe, I think. So I changed something down here. We we're getting really low pressure in this growing room. Pressure was falling to about, well, we can see here, growth halted. Pressure was falling like around to 200 grams because we don't really have much of a source of CO2 anymore since I don't have any natural gas power generators. So what I did was I put a, I already had a pump here and I put in a filter, which filters out CO2, and it pumps it into this room. And the CO2 that we're collecting over here, below the uh, kind of the power room, that I'm sending into the other grow room, way over here, to keep it pressurized. So I guess these plants actually consume CO2 because uh, the pressure in here used to be like 1500 and it's dropped quite a bit. And it could be from the door opening, but I have a feeling the plants actually consume it. But I could be wrong. It could just be from the door. But we have our next duplicate, so... Let's see what we should get here. Loud sleeper, eh. Maybe Trivaldo here. Yokel need any research left. The other thing I did was 
kind of cleaned up this area here and added more airflow tiles to allow the CO2 to kind of fall down into this area so we can use it. This area was pretty full of CO2 before. We're actually running out of our uh, petroleum, but that's okay. That's fine, we got tons of plastic. Fi 58 tons, I don't think we're gonna need much more. Just for beds, that's about it. So we have our final dupe here. Let's see who we have. Guess we'll go with Nicola. So that's 40 dupes, wow, we got there. Took a while. I'm just putting in a rock granulator here. I forgot we could make one of these. And that way we might be able to convert some of our useless materials into uh, some good stuff. Now let's see what we can feed it. Obsidian gives us sand. And sand is much more useful than obsidian. And I also tried to move, put some traps in here. But our hatches are broken. Have to restart the game. So we'll just leave them until next time. And then we'll probably try to dump them here so they can eat all our materials. But we'll try to convert some of them here with the rock granulator. See if we can do some obsidian. So there we go. Obsidian delivered. Heat production 80 watts. Okay, this thing's probably gonna get pretty warm. Look at them go! <laughs> Punching it. Hilarious. They should be making little fists, but they're not. Okay, that thing's gonna get hot. We'll deal with that next time. So let's just check oxygen. Let's check the whole base here. Oh, oxygen's a little bit low in this area. I had some electrolyzers up here, but I think I'm gonna put them over here next episode and pipe the oxygen over. That way the hydrogen is nicely self-contained and it's not just floating up here off into nothingness. So I hope you enjoyed that episode. Um, we've switched completely over to manual power and maybe the odd bit of coal power. Temperature's looking good. Oxygen was looking good until I took those electrolyzers out, but we'll fix that. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.